It seems like Mr. Kraft is not crafty anymore. It doesn't seem like Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft are getting along. What a kawinky dink. Fans out there that couldn't stand the New England Patriots for 20 years of dominance. Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft, the cheating scandals, the flake gate, spy gate, <laughs> every single thing that's happened over the last 20 years with the Bill Belichick, New England Patriots was a story. We see how the NFL absolutely adores the Kansas City Chiefs. And now we don't talk about the New England Patriots. You know why? Because there's no Tom Brady anymore. He's retired, hanging out with his children, owning the Las Vegas Raiders, working for Fox next year, making over $350 million in a nine-year span. Bill Belichick has not made the playoffs in over a year. And now going into another year, back-to-back years, the Patriots not making the playoffs. No, that can't happen. That hasn't happened in 20 years. How is that possible? Mac Jones, when they draft, everybody thought he was the next coming to Tom Brady. Meanwhile, Tom Brady was drafted in the sixth round, and Mac Jones was the Alabama Crimson Tide championship quarterback. But we're not talking about what the Patriots are then. We're talking about Robert Kraft speaking on the Patriots' woes this year. At the bottom of the AFC East, when they're usually at the top, Belichick has 330 regular season wins, 31 playoff wins, and six Super Bowl championships in his career. But they're all with Tom Brady. And everybody gave Bill Belichick all the credit for those championships. Tom Brady leaves. He wins a championship with Tampa. He retires. Tires the next year after that, and we have not seen Bill Belichick and those New England Patriots in a Super Bowl since then. Is it a coincidence, or was it just Tom Brady? It seems like it's moving towards Tom Brady. Nevertheless, the New England Patriots have been the laughingstock of the AFC East. Not the New York Jets, not the Miami Dolphins, not the Buffalo Bills. All three teams have developed young talent. The New England Patriots have done spit. You look at their talent, you look at what they've put on that field over the last couple of years has been garbage. For all the people, all those years, making fun of the New York Jets and what talent that they have developed in those years where they sucked. They didn't have a quarterback as bad of a quarterback play that we've seen over 30 years. Now, the Patriots have arguably the worst quarterback in the NFL. The Arizona Cardinals, second tier quarterback that's the starter right now, Dobbs, is a better quarterback than Mac Jones. Probably would have more wins, more patience, and actually make those garbage wide receivers play at least half decent on the football field. This team has been putrid. Who's the worst team right now in the NFL? The Giants, Arizona, the Broncos. When you think about it right now, yes, the New England Patriots beat the Jets this year. It's not saying much. And the Giants beat the Cardinals, which also doesn't say much. I could say that the New England Patriots is, if not the worst, the second worst team in the NFL. The Patriots DVOA is the worst in the league right now. They're really bad. They can't run the ball anymore. The offensive line can't protect the quarterback. Mac Jones stinks. Bill Belichick can't call a play anymore. His son looks like he has a stick up his ass. Now Robert Kraft is trying to figure out if Bill Belichick is right for the future to this organization. Meanwhile, he won you six championships. And I do believe he could go down as the greatest coach, not only of this era, of all time. I believe Bill Belichick wants to stay in the league until he breaks Don Shuler's record. Win total. He's 17 wins away, which would probably be two more years. I don't know if he's going to get the chance now. If Robert Kraft is now throwing Bill Belichick under the bus, it just shows you their connection. It just shows you what they think of each other. Ever since the Jimmy Garoppolo situation, Mm -hmm. as Bill Belichick wanted to keep Jimmy and trade away Tom Brady, and Robert Kraft and Tom Brady were talking, and they said, no way in hell. What happens? Robert Kraft tells Bill Belichick he wants Jimmy G gone. And that's how Jimmy G was traded to the 49ers. You're trying to figure out who the Patriots are and what is their identity now. I don't think they have an identity. They used to be a good defensive team. All of a sudden this year, they've fallen apart. Their secondary is putrid. They bring in J.C. Jackson. They bring him back after they didn't want to re-sign him. He goes to the Chargers, gets a huge contract. He misses a whole season. He plays for, what, two games this year? He looked absolutely horrible. They decide we should never let him go. And what happens? They bring him back because they lose Gonzalez. 